Hi everyone, I'm with Miss Pretty. I'm so excited. We are going to do some Havana twists. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to try this style for a long time now and I can't wait to see how it's gonna look. So please follow along. See you soon, bye. I have already gone ahead to prepare the client's hair. Because we're getting the Havana twist, which is the bigger version of the rope twist, the hair have been prepared in bonky chunks because they are not slim at all. They're going to be big Senegalese twist or the big rope twist. I have opened up the parts I created to show you how you can get the parts to cover the lines that are beneath each of the rows. If you look into the braiding rows, you discover that it has the first layer. I'm gonna lift this line up to show you that. This is the first layer. And this is the second layer. When you're creating the layers in any braids, if the design you are trying to achieve is the squares, you make the subsequent rows to fall into the hole that you have noticed falling under the patterns. The reason you are trying to fill in the holes is to make the braids to look fuller and to look beautiful. When we braid without these lines falling into place to cover the holes as you see me do, what happens is that the braids come out having holes everywhere and they don't look pretty at all. So in order to achieve that, you'll be needing the small dot clips and the big ones. You first of all create the roll with a comb and the assistance of the edge control. Then get into that row you've created and begin to separate the hair with either the comb or the big duck clip. When you do that, you create small, small squares that will fall in into that hole you want to create. Just watch this. This square comes in here to fill in the gap I lift it up you see there's a gap here this square that I parted I use a small dot clip to hold it down falls in to cover this the same for this line it falls to cover this This braid is gonna fall in to fill in that gap. And that's how you can braid and the hair falls into lines looking beautiful and your own hair or the client's hair also looks fuller. If you look at this row below, you will discover that it has a space here and here. When you are braiding, you pop the layer above the lower one in such a way that the next braid coming on top covers the space that is below. In order to do that, I would have to get into this upper layer 
so I get into this line and I pat the hair into two Make sure they are equal, the one on the right and the one on the left. So when I braid down now, this row covers this. This row comes down here and this row comes down here. And that's the beauty of the braids. You get into the hair as always. This is the Kanekalan hair. Because we're doing the Havana twist, the big twist, that's why we have the big or chunky Kanekalan hair. You split it into two as we always do. The left hand side being bigger than the right hand side. The smaller one you convert into one strand of hair, and this you convert into two. You crisscross. Take the duck flip and then get into this one and section it away so that it doesn't come flying back on your face while you're braiding. You take the edge control and smoothen the client's natural hair because you don't want the hair to be everywhere. You do the same to the Kanakalan hair, you know it's heavy, it's not the micro Senegalese twist, it's not the normal Senegalese twist, it's not medium sized twist, this one is the big rope twist, the Havana twist. So here we have the hair, we get into the client's hair, as we have been going through our teaching, you divide the hair into three. Then take the first one and add it to the upper layer and hold the braid down. Take the second one, cross it over and grab the last piece and join. And cross the three of them amongst themselves. You do a little bit of three strand twist to hold the hair down because you may not want to do the root Havana twist, which you may not be able to handle. But as you learn to braid better, you could try it out. But if you're a beginner, I will advise that you start your Havana twist, medium size Senegalese twist, or even the micro Senegalese twist off by doing a little bit of the box braid so that your braid can have an anchor that will help you to learn faster and better too. Then you take the edge control again and twist. You hold the braid, the connector on hair very tight so that the braids don't slide out from your hands. You twist. I'll show you one more time. You take the Kanakalan hair, crisscross, smoothen it out. It is big because we are doing the Havana twist, the big rope twist. Okay, you take the hair, come to the client's natural hair, and pop into three on your own hair. Take the hair like this and install onto the scalp. You hold it down. You take the second leg, add it to the one you're holding down, cross it over. 
over. You take the remaining leg, you see it over here. You add it. Don't worry about the smoothness. Once you crisscross now, you will use your hand on the edge control to smoothen it out. And everything will become very smooth. So when you do that, you're gonna see that the twist will turn out looking good. You take the edge control, apply to help you braid better. Because it's Havana twist, it may be a little bit big, so the edge control helps a lot to control the hair and to match all the hair together, which enables you to twist better and faster. So now we've done a little bit of box braid to hold the braid down. You go into the hair, the middle one, remember we have one, two, three. You divide the middle hair into two equal parts and share it between the hair on the left and the hair on the right, as we have been learning from the other types of twist. I have already done a video. Uh, the title of the video on YouTube is Easy and Detailed Rope Twist. There I explain explicitly well how to get the rope twist. I have also done a video on the kinky twist, which is a smaller version of the Senegalese twist. And now we have the Havana twist, which is the biggest version of all the rope twist. I hope you enjoy the videos and learn. If you have questions on any of them, feel free to leave a comment for me down below. So, you take the edge control, apply it onto the two strands of hair and twist clockwise, clockwise. So this is the finished work on Jada's hair. You remember when I started the video, I was trying to show you how to cover the line so that you don't have holes everywhere making the braid look very unprofessional so because i was parting the lines designing the squares to fill in the gaps of the subsequent rows i was able to use the upper layers to cover the down layer of each line so you see this is the topmost layer we use the braids up here to cover the holes we have here and here. The same for the second topmost layer, on and on to the lowest layer. So that's how to design the hair. If you have any question on how to create the parts and how to create the layers or the lines, please feel free to leave the comments below and i will surely get back to you so here we turn the queen around Hi. i love it thank you so much you i are. love how neat it is and i like the chunkier twist i have a lot of hair so <laughs> this is just fitting for me i really like it i can go out now <laughs> I go out in public now and be seen. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your See time. You See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and share. share. Bye, y'all. <laughs>